Hey guys, how's it going? Nate here, and I have a video for you of, or a review of a P601 Ryobi trim router, cordless trim router from their OnePlus series. Um, so I picked this up in a, a kit with three other tools and a couple batteries, actually four other tools and, and a couple batteries to use just around around the, uh, the shop and whatnot here. And... Um, so I want to just give it a try and let you guys know, you know, is it something you're going to want to pick up for, for doing projects that you're working on? Um, the, the deal that I got, and the, one of the reasons I got this is that all those tools together are about the same price as one DeWalt cordless router. I don't know if it's released yet. I think it's going to be released pretty soon. And I may or may not have a video of that for you, but uh, the price is just uh, quite a bit less. So all in all, I paid... You know, when it's all said and done, maybe forty or fifty bucks for this. You can get the bare, the bare router for I think seventy-five bucks uh, or less online. If you go to eBay, I bet you can get it for quite a bit less than that. Anyways, let's just go through some of the features <clears throat> that it has. Obviously, on/off switch there. Um, it's got a depth adjustment here, and it kind of has its own depth, kind of built-in depth plate there. So uh, you can adjust whatever depth you want that let me try to show you that there so whatever whatever depth you want to you want to route something out at you can use it there this is the stop for the blade change you just turn until it changes or stops and then you can unscrew the the head right there I'm pulling it up too far there we go and uh change out your your bit so this right here is the depth adjustment you just unclip that and then you can move it up or down depending on where you need to be with your bit. So it's got a, a measurement right there as well. And then you just kind of clip that back on and you're good to go. So haven't used it all that much. Uh, they call the trim router for a reason. It, it <clears throat> I haven't used any other cordless router, so I don't know, but based on corded routers and other routers that I've I have used uh, the build is is pretty wiggly, a little bit cheesy, not really that great overall. And there is right now I've got a a uh, straight cut router bit in there, but of course you're most likely not going to be using that on this because I mean there's just no way to get it straight. You can't can't cut straight with it unless you have you know you could I guess set up a. Um, a block or something to keep it straight. I guess that would be pretty easy. Uh, you could just set up a piece of wood or something if you're cutting the wood below it and just run it along that piece. <clears throat> but you're not going to freehand it, that's for sure. So works great for um, the the rounded corners. Uh, I did a little bit of that. It doesn't bog down that much. It had a smaller battery on it. It seemed to work pretty well. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> all in all, you know, it was a nice sharp bit, but it, it seemed to cut through it pretty well. And I think it would do really well with that sort of a thing. Um, I do, I use routers on the job, actually framing and stuff, and I use plunge routers and stuff, and you need a little bit more power for using those. But uh, for for just doing light hobby work, um, I would recommend it. I think that it's probably worth it. I don't have a whole lot more to, to tell about it. Right now, I haven't used it all that much just to kind of test it out and see how it works. But, uh, you know, right off the bat, like I said, it didn't bog down as much as I expected. If you're cutting, you know, you can hopefully see that bit in there. If you're cutting that bit all the way down, uh, probably five eighths, three quarter of an inch, you're probably going to get quite a bit of bog down depending on the battery you've got in there. But um, it definitely gets the job done, and uh, it's a nice compact design. I like the way it feels. You can just grab the, you know, just grab it right there, and and this just kind of goes over your hand, and it feels like you have quite a bit of control. I, I do like that about it. So the the adjustment is easy to do. I just don't think that you're gonna get very exact, uh, repeatable <clears throat> routing if you're doing something really, you know, if you're trying to do some routing that, that needs to be really exact. I don't know if this is the best tool for it for sure, just because there's some, some slop in the, in the make. Um, but for essentially for the equivalent of, 
you know, 30 or 40 bucks compared to paying a couple hundred. I mean, that's, that's fine. And I'll pick up this one and maybe the more expensive one too. But uh, for the price point, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, if this uh, video helped you out at all, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you have any other questions, I'd love to see them. Go ahead and post them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, if you want to see more videos with Ryobi, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Tools, etc., uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll get those coming out at you. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching.